Okay, what's up YouTube? Um, when I was making the video, I forgot to add a few things that people asked for. Uh, I forgot a few key things I kind of need to mention. So, and people have been asking me here and there, so I just decided to go ahead and make a um, update-ish video to it. Uh, uh, this is just like an add-on to the last video. So, nothing, if you still need to know most of the stuff about this, just go look at the other video, okay? Um, this is just the parts I forgot to add, I kind of missed up on. So, sorry for that. But, now I can show you what I missed out on. Okay, so, first thing is first, okay? Um, when people are making entities... I kind of forgot to show what you need to add exactly. I showed the names and stuff, but I didn't show exactly what you need to add. So, so just go back into this. Um, first things first, go to help, change icons, change it to this, just so it'd be easier for you to understand. Uh, that's personally when I use, just use it, to just be it easier on yourself so that way you know what I'm clicking on. Okay, so click on any entity. Okay, like any villager, go to uh, trade offers, go to trade recipes. Uh, if you have a thing with enchantment, which in this case, pretty much all of these do. So, yeah. once you click on the sell item and you have the name of the item, you need to add a tag. Um, so, to do that, go up here, click on the box to add a tag. It needs to be spelled specifically like tag. If you spell it any other way than like that, it will not work. Next, if you want to add a name, display item, and stuff like that, you need to add another box inside the tag. So inside tag, add another box, call it display. It needs to be spelled specifically like uh, display. Then inside of that, open that up. If you want to add a lure, you got to go into the box and you got to go add list tags. So then do a list tag and make sure it's spelled lure exactly like that. Mm -hmm. If it's spelled anything different, it will not work. Okay. Now inside of that, you can go ahead and add. So if you click on the lure, you can go in there and add a string tag. In the string tag, you do name and then the, the value is the name that you want. That's just how it works. If you spell anything different, it will not work. Um, just make sure name is spelled the same way. If it's anything different, it will not work. Now the value, you could do whatever you want for the value. The value does not matter. That's whatever you want to name it, okay? Um, now Minecraft will not allow some tags and some letters and stuff. So you may have to mess around with that depending on what language you speak or depending on what you're trying to do. Um, some things may not work, but most things do. So, yeah, just play along with that. Mm -hmm. If the item doesn't show up correctly, you either misnamed it, um, something wrong, and it won't load the item because it's misnamed, it, the name would not load, or you mess something up in the string. Okay, so, now that we know that that, if you want to add enchantments, you click back up here to where it says tag, um, and then you need to add yourself a, um, list tag. When you add a list tag, make sure it's spelled like this. If you spell it any way different than this tag like this, it will not work. This is very specific, okay? So once you spell it like that, you can go into here. Now, you gotta add yourself another box. With the box, you click into the box. Now... You don't have to name the box, it just needs to be a box, okay? Uh, as you can see, the boxes have no names, okay? But what you do in here is you need to add two tags, and it needs to be two short tags. Short tags are what you need, okay? With short tags, you gotta come in here and spell it like this. The name has to be ID, and then, of course, the value of whatever the ID is. Then the level, and the level needs to be spelled specifically like this. And then the level of the enchantment. So in this case, I believe this is protection. Yeah, that's gonna be protection. Protection ten. Uh, um. 
So figure out what the ID is of like whatever enchantment it is. In this case, this is protection, cost of zero is protection. And then the level is whatever the level of the enchantment you want. In this case, it's level 10. That's how you do this. Okay, so hopefully that helps to explain some of the stuff I missed out on. And of course, you can keep just adding enchantments, you know, like that. Uh -huh. If you want to make it easier on yourself, just after you make one of these, copy the box, like copy the box. So just come up here, click copy, and then just click back into enchantment and then paste it. And then that way you can just go in and keep editing all of them. You don't have to keep remaking the box, then if the ID, then the level, just make it easy for yourself like that. So hopefully that explains what I missed on this. Uh, I don't think I've missed anything on that. So let's get on to the other stuff I missed. Okay, so some people are having issues with not being able to input their uh, structure pack or the pack and stuff, okay? So I know I failed to explain that as well. I should have explained it, I just forgot. It's such common knowledge to me that I did not even think about it, but I understand most people do not understand it, so that was my bad, 100% my bad. Okay, so, mm -hmm. if you're making a structure file, and you want to make a new one, okay? Now, there is an issue with this. If you import it, it will make a new file, and the issue with that is you may have the structure file name, and you may have, like, a whole bunch of different ones. You're not sure which one is which, or different things like that that can come into issues i will explain how to fix that in a minute but if you want to do that method uh this is how you do it okay so what you need to do is you need to open the metafesto the metafest file dot jar um if you don't see the dot jar you don't see the tags at the fate and um you don't have file extensions on you need to have file extensions on so if you're on windows the way you do that is you come up here to where it says view, click view, then go all the way over here to where it says file name extensions. Click that to turn file extensions on. Otherwise, you will not be able to see the extension at the end, which you will need to have the extensions on to be able to change it to the correct file type in a little bit. Okay, so now that you've done that, we can go back here to home. You need to open this file. Okay, now that it's opened, this is what it should look like, okay? Now, you pretty much just don't touch anything in here, but this strand right here and this strand right here. So just come into the quotation marks, like so, right here where the quotation marks are, and you want to change this line right here. So what you need to do is go online. I will put a link in the description to a URL. Let me load that URL right now. Okay, so now that we're over here, this is what you need to do. You can go to this website. I have it in the description. Um, you need to do the version 4 generator. So what you do is just click generate. Or you could just come right here and click refresh. Both of them will work. And you just need to click copy. Or you can click on this and then do copy. How you prefer. But you copy this strand. And let's go back to the notepad. And now that we're back here on the notepad. What you need to do is you simply need to replace this one with the one you just copied go back generate a new one and put it in here these two ids need to be different if they're the same it will not work i need to stress that to you it will not work if they're the same id they need to be different okay now once they both got different ids in there it should work and the chances of you getting a pack that has the same id as another pack is pretty low not impossible but really low so with that being said you can just keep generating new packs like that as much as you want and you more likely would never run into an issue with it okay now that's how you do that hey. now just make sure you save it by coming up here click and save or just when you're in here do control s that will save it as well um now you're done with that now what you need to do now what you need to do is now that you've saved it and everything's good what you need to do is simply make this pack into the minecraft add-on folder so in this case i'm going to use renoir so i'm just going to do renoir add okay so now that i've done that it should pop up like this now with the renoir format i've noticed sometimes it 
compresses the file too much and some things mess up. So if you don't want it to mess anything up, you want to guarantee it works every time, click zip, okay? Now you can click OK and you would get a file. Now you would get a file like this. And if you have extensions on, you should see the dot zip. If you do not see the dot zip, then you don't have file extensions on. So as we talked about, if you just open this up, okay, go into view, go into file name extensions, make sure that's on. If it's not, you will not be able to see the name. Now what you need to do is you need to click edit, edit name. Now that you have the name, just come into here and replace this with MC, add on, like so, click save, and you're good. But if you do not see the zip, it will not work. But also what you can do is if you don't have extensions on and you can't find it for some reason, this is also how you can do it. So with RINRAR, you can open it up <clears throat> like so. And you can see right here, it's trying to zip, but it's still saving it as a zip file. Come right here and just type in MC, add on like so, click save. And then now if I go and grab the file over here, you can see the file is the same, okay? So that is also another way you can do it, okay? Now, this method will work, but every time you import it, it will save it as a new, like a new uh, add-on. So you would have tons of add-ons. Every time you make a change, it will have a new add-on, and that will have an effect on your add-ons and your Minecraft load times and other stuff. So uh, this is the method I personally use. So let me show you what it is. Okay, so if your Minecraft file is saved in the default location, I will put the location in the link in the description. Uh, not a link, but I will put it in the description what the place is. So if you open your file manager, click right here in this box, and then enter that thing I gave you. If it's in the default location, it should bring you to a place that looks just like this. <clears throat> if it does not, then you may have to find it yourself um because it may not have been saved in the correct location or it may have changed its name in that case i will put one more in there if that one doesn't work you may have to look online to figure out how to do it okay so once you do that and you have you're in this folder okay there's two things you need to do first you need to go into behavior packs so right here as you can see behavior packs so let's just click into it and I went ahead and just went into one of the ones I have. So go into your behavior packs, click on the behavior pack you have, and it should look like this, right? And now, as you're familiar with the behavior pack that I gave everyone, that one, or the one you should be using, should look exactly like this one. Now, for this, you just need to go into structures, and you need to go ahead and just name the structure file. As you can see for this one, I actually have a, quite a few structures in here. But for most people, you probably don't have any, or you may have just one or two, but you can have as many as you want. Just remember, whatever you name it is what you have to uh, select inside the structure block. So if the name is super long, then the structure block has to have that super long name. Okay? Now, now we understand all that. So what you do is you simply when you make a new structure file, you name it whatever, you know, all that, you just simply drag it in here and drop it. Now, the thing with that is, it will update it, but only to the new word that you make. If you already have the structure pack on a map, okay, it will not update that structure pack on that map. So how do we fix that issue? Because now I can make a new map, and have the new structural file updated on it. But if you, on the old map, you will still have the structural file. It would just be the old version without the new, um, the new um, MC structure. So how do I fix that issue? Well, simply, you go back to here, okay? And you go find a word that has that structure pack. So you click here on MC, like Minecraft words. So let me click into one. Okay, so now inside of a word folder, um, I do not have any behavior packs on this map, um, but if you open it and 
you should see these and now you should also have a behavior pack in a resource pack if you have a resource on it too um but you should see a behavior pack click into the behavior pack go find the add-on that you have the name for so whatever the name of the add-on is that you have that you save your structure files to click into that and just like you did in the behavior pack click into structures and then add that file to there that will update it for that map so you don't have to make a new map each time now that is how you fix the problem now just make sure you do the word plus the behavior pack just so you'd never have issues with making new maps so you don't have a certain like you know structure or anything like that just make sure you do them both just so you have no issues okay now hopefully that ain't too complicated i explained it okay i guess i mean i'm not the best explainer and with my speech issues sometimes people have issues uh, understanding me so hopefully i didn't explain that too bad but yeah that's pretty much what you need to do um just make sure if you want to do it go into your behavior packs put the new structural thing inside that behavior pack go into your minecraft words then go into behavior pack and then also put that structure file in that behavior pack and just make sure that they're both in there okay and that will make sure you never have to upload a new map again it would just be like that okay hopefully this helps everyone out um i think that's everything i've missed if it's not uh, i'm sorry i will maybe talk about that or if you leave a comment i might explain it to you um but yeah i think that's everything i missed now i'm not 100 percent sure um but yeah if i miss anything just leave a comment i will try to explain i try to explain stuff to people that they don't understand um yeah so hopefully this helps if not i'm sorry um but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video or it helps you please leave a like subscribe comment and yeah have a good one guys and also happy holidays